And now, friends, let us pray to God who alone makes us dwell in safety. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadows of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbor and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love for your name's sake. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory. We pray for all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy, and resilience to all who are caring for the sick, and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit, that through their work many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. We pray for the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, have mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church, O Lord. We are not people of fear, we are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety, we are people who protect our neighbor's safety. We are not people of greed, we are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes wherever you call us. Almighty God, by your grace, accept the fruit of our labor and the offering of our lives. Let us be a sacrifice, a sacrifice of thanksgiving in union with our risen Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And now, O oh Lord, we pray together as you taught your disciples. Uh, we pray together with the confidence of the children of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 